Hello, everybody. How's it going? My name's Terry James Taylor, and I get it's that time again, folks. It's time to if you're gonna eat a fruit, better not eat an orange this week, guys. No oranges is the best orange. Probably would be if you were heading to Miami for the Orange Bowl. We've had two of them already in town, Tennessee, and we've also found a way somehow to beat the big bad. Texas Longhorns. There's one other orange team coming into Norman this year. Oklahoma State heads in. The Cowboy. Mm -hmm. Oklahoma State Cowboys, T. Boone Pickens, Mike Gundy, and the crew. They will be in Owen Field Saturday for this one on Fox Sports 1. The preview is up next. Boomer Sooner, 1982. Stay tuned, everybody! Between Oklahoma State and Oklahoma Saturday, December the 6th, 2014, on Fox Sports 1. And the weather supposed to be pretty nice. Uh, 50s, 50 to 55, 60s maybe. Uh, no wind, no, wind uh, no rain this time. Uh, so it's going to be cloudy, but no sun. I mean, but no rain, I'm sorry, for this one. The uh, TV analysts will be uh, Joe Davis and former Oregon uh, quarterback Joey Harrington will be doing the color analyzing for this one. And Chris Chris Button, she will be the sideline analyst for Bedlam 2014. Of course, the OU color, the OU play-by-play -play for OU uh, for o OSU OU 2014 is my close personal friend from the radio. Toby Rowland on Sports Talk 1400 in Norman. You can hear it. Uh, he will be assisted by Merv Johnson. We'll do. We'll help him out on the uh, color, color. He'll do the color and the sideliners again from the Buzz up in Tulsa. Chris Plank, the Planker, will be assisted by a couple of Toby's buddies from Sports Talk 1400. Former defensive tackle for the Sooners, Dusty Dvorak, and former former linebacker for the Sooners, Teddy Lemon. Uh, the things to know about this series is that under Mike Gundy, Oklahoma State, since the 2010 game in Stillwater, it's been a barn burner. Except for the 2011 matchup. Where OSU slammed Oklahoma pretty good, 44 to 10, in Stillwater, and you could call the 2009 game the uh, 27 to nothing game. You can say that was a blowout. I I, I tend to think it was uh, a, a blowout in my opinion, but uh, that's just me. Um, you know, it could have been worse for OSU, no given, but uh, it was pretty dominating win by Oklahoma. Uh, the record, 84-17-7 in favor of the Sooner, Schooners, Boomer, and Sooner. The uh, past, uh, the past uh, series was, uh, we got a win in, Nor in Stillwater last year, in Stilly last year, 33-24 in 2013. And of course, the first ever overtime game in 2012, Oklahoma, Okie State, and the Pope Chokes actually led all the way through the game into overtime. But in overtime, Oklahoma ended up winning by by, uh, by three, 51-48 in Norman in 2012. 
Oklahoma State breakdown. Their coach is Mike Agundy. Big, Mike, big Mikey is in his ninth season at Okie State with a record of 84 30 and 33 with a 656 winning percentage and a uh, 10 and 3 record last year. 7 and 2 in the league. Uh, Big 12, that is, Big 12 League. Uh, losses coming to Oklahoma and uh, Texas uh, outright. Uh, the best win last year, however, was the 49 to 17 win over Big 12 champion Baylor in Stilly. As far as the bowls, uh, Mike is a five and three bowl, bowl record holder. That is 653. Or 625, I'm sorry. Last time out, uh, they, in 2013, they got handled pretty good. 41 to 13 loss in the Cotton Bowl to former Big 12 champion, I mean, uh, former Big 12 North Division champion, and now SEC Division, two time SEC Division champion, Missouri. Uh, conference title since 99, 2011. That's it. Uh, last, uh, their best win last year, of course, as we said, was the, uh, Baylor win in Stillwater over, the win over Baylor in Stillwater, 49-17, the victory. Uh, the breakdowns, uh, didn't go, didn't start out, started out pretty good for OSU. Lost by a touchdown, 31-37 loss in Arlington to then-ranked number one team in the country, Florida State. Came back home, got a 42-23 win over Missouri State, a 43-13 win over UTSA, a, a 10-point victory, 45-35 uh, a win over Tech, and a 37-20 win over Iowa State. Before going on the road to Lawrence and lose and winning by only a touchdown, 27 to 20. Then heading to Fort Worth, and then at 12th ranked TCU, they lost 42 to 9. They then lost to 22nd ranked ranked West Virginia in Stillwater, 34 to 10. A game that wasn't even really that deficit wasn't even that much. And then they lost 48-14 in Manhattan at Kansas State. They then lost another game, 28-7 in Stillwater to Texas. And just recently, two weeks ago, lost 49-28 in Waco to 7th ranked Baylor. As far as the Sooner Scooter, jump on board, everybody. 158-39 in 16 years is Bob Stoops. That makes his winning percentage 802. Last year had a winning record of 10 and 3, finishing second in the Big 12, tying with Oklahoma State and Texas. Uh, best win last year not, that was not a bowl was that 34 33 to 24 victory over the Cal Pokes in Stillwater. Their last bowl was 20 uh, they then earned their bowl win in 2013. Uh, uh, when they beat uh, Alabama 45-31 in the Superdome in the Sugar Bowl. And that increased Bob's winning percentage in bowls to 7-7. Seven and seven. He is even at 500 at this point. Uh, conference and divisional titles in the Stoops era. Uh, they got one in 2000, 2002, 2004, 2006, 2007, 2008. 2010, and recently in 2012. And the OU Review, 7-3, so they're for sure going to a bowl. Uh, they got they started with their uh, first wins against Louisiana Tech in Norman, 48-16 win in the opener. Then went on the road at Tulsa and got a pretty good win out there, 52-7. Came home for the big SEC SEC opponent in Tennessee, 
34-10 vote win for the Sooners. Then headed on the road to Morgantown at West Virginia and stunned them 34 to, uh, and stunned them 45-33 in Morning North in uh, West Virginia, Morgantown. Then we're brought back down to earth against number top 25 TCU, losing 37-33. They then won in the Cotton Bowl over Texas, 30-31-26 win over UT. Before heading home and getting and losing a nail biter, 31 to 30, at home to uh, number 14th ranked Kansas State, back, got back on track the next week when they lost. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, when they won 59 to 14 win over Iowa State. Before heading home and losing uh, 48 to 14 loss in Lake uh, to uh, number 12 ranked. Baylor got back on the winning track the next two weeks, outscoring Texas Tech 42 to 30 in Lubbock. And just last week, 44 to 7 win over Kansas in Norman, where Samaj P. Ryan set the NCAA record for rushing yards in a single football game. That brings us to Bedlam, baby. Hope to see y'all out there. Uh, a couple of our guys are going to enjoy their final games. Uh, Rokowski, Blake Bell, a uh, couple, of, couple of those guys are going to enjoy their last home game. Uh, hope everybody can get out there and support them. Should be pretty nice weather as reported earlier. If not, of course, as I said, you can watch the game on your local Fox Sports 1 station. Thanks for watching, everybody. Stay tuned for the post-game show and the bowl preview show here on Boomer Sooner 1982. Until then, I'm Harry James Taylor. Thanks for watching, everybody. And remember, find me on Facebook at Harry James Taylor or tweet me at SoonerFan. Okay. Thanks for watching, everybody, and as always on this show, Boomer Sooner, everybody.